Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, this is based on me pursuing the dream that I never uh, could achieve. Uh, my superpower will be... I'm Ryan Guzali. I'm the CEO of Liga Mahasiswa. I'm a big sports fan and I'm a lifelong Manchester United supporter. Um, people actually describe me as uh, somebody who's on the two extremes, you know, they can they see me sometimes as a, a, a jokester, uh, somebody who is just can't be taken seriously. But on certain points, you know, um, I'm very serious about a lot of things as well. Uh, things that concerns uh, the line of work that I'm in. So I'm in the sports industry, and when it comes to how technology can revolutionize my industry, I think we're in a very infant stage where everything is still using pen and paper. So there's a lot of opportunity uh, to be developed, obviously, in the sports industry. And, you know, Lima in particular, we've been using social media from the very beginning. You know, we started off with four people um, and we only had four months to prepare for our the biggest uh, university basketball event. And we were able to uh, gather around 81 university teams in the first year using mostly Twitter. A moment came when there was the May 1998 riot that happens that, you know, me as a minority in Indonesia, as a Chinese Indonesian, uh, I was forced out uh, to move out of my country uh, that has raised me up for the most of my life and I had to find myself in a new environment. You know, my, my mom told me this when, when I was young. You know, Ryan, when you're uh, going to college, I'm just going to provide you and pay for your tuition only for four years. So when, when they heard that I'm pursuing something in sports, they weren't really happy at first. Because they don't understand, that's number one. Uh, but that's always been my passion. So I graduated, you know, I, I landed on uh, several jobs. Uh, uh, by the time I graduated, I already have three internships in hand, so I was, uh, I was okay in terms of my resume. But uh, the first job that I did was uh, actually, uh, I got in a consulting com company. Uh, I just want, had a one moment of epiphany that I woke up one day in the morning and thought to myself, Oh my God, you know, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. This is just so boring. This is just so not me. My passion is in sports, so I took the leap of faith. Most of it is, is me alone, and, and it comes to a point where we can't even afford our own janitors. So we had to, for a while, you know, uh, do our own thing, you know, clean up the place ourselves. You know, I remember there was one time where uh, I was cleaning up the toilet, and there was, like, you know, how sometimes people, when they when they uh, poo and <laughs> they didn't flush and I just had to take care of that and then I remember asking myself you know what uh, is this what you want to do you know uh, <clears throat> I love sports but you know this is this is a trying moment and this this really becomes the, the point where it's a it's a moment for me to be honest with myself and I I came up to the conclusion that I, I this is one what, what I want to do in my life uh, I came up with the thought that, you know what, actually for me, what measures in the end, you know, my measure of success is not my net worth, but my measure of success is my net impact. And it comes to this point now where I am doing Liga Mahasiswa. Okay, that was a long one. It's okay. <laughs> so Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, uh, this is not an exact quote, but something like that, um, bad things happen because good people do, don't do anything. And I think what Indonesia need is, is courage. Courage to actually step up, courage to follow your dreams. And, you know, don't, don't sell yourself cheap. I think if people pursue what they believe in, uh, people pursue their passion, people pursue what, you know, what's, what's burning inside of them, you know, I think Indonesia would be a much better place. Brush your teeth. I'm not your way to. I would tell them, a healthy fish always fight against, always swims against the current, and you know I, there'll be trying moments. Uh, but if you're steadfast about it, if you're, if you're certain about what you believe in, uh, keep on going and don't let anybody belittle you, um, and just pursue excellence, and everything will be okay in the end. I think um, okay to for me maybe I think it's. There are moments where no, I'm not consistently giving 100% in everything that I do. Uh, and sometimes, you know, when I was growing up, 
I think I could have been more honest with myself and really been able to filter out whatever everybody else is wanting from me, saying about me, uh, and just focusing on who I am as a person. I think if I just follow uh, my guts, follow my intuition, uh, that I would have been in a much better situation, even more than I am now, I think. Oh, damn. Uh, this is based on me pursuing the dream that I never uh, could achieve. Uh, my superpower would be uh, time bending. Time bending. Yeah. <laughs> because then I can be a pro football player and I can uh, dribble to everyone when I slow the time and I know where to move. I can make all the cool moves and score the goal and become like the Manchester United player. <laughs>